Hi, this is Bridget, nurse practitioner, back again with a dosage calc question. This is a two-part question. The first thing that I want you to do when you're taking a dosage calc test is to take a deep breath and give yourself some kind of reassurance like, I can do this, I got this, because sometimes the nerves will get the best of you and everything you know goes out the window. So this is a two-part question, but let's break it down. The order is, is ceftazidime. 500 milligrams IM every eight hours. Add two milliliters of, apparently this word is pronounced diluent, uh, 2.6 milliliter drug solution. Drug available, see the label, I will provide that for you. How many grams of Fortaz should the patient receive per day? How many mLs of Fortaz would you give per dose? So like I said, let's start with the first part and then we will go with the second part. So it's So here's the label. Fortaz, uh, one gram. And so that is how much the vial brings. And then the question is how many grams per day? I think one of the most important points for dosage calc is pay attention to what the question is asking you. That is where a lot of people will sometimes get tripped up and they won't convert things or they'll answer another thing, like another question that isn't even being asked. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, uh, if you have questions about nursing school, career paths, anything like that, you can book a session with me. A uh, link will be in the description below. So the first one's pretty simple. If we have 500 milligrams every eight hours, uh, how many doses essentially are, like how many times a day is this person getting their medication? And there's 24 hours in a day. You divide that by eight. That's three times a day. That's also, so that's three times a day, AKA TID. So 500 milligrams times three equals 1,500 milligrams per day. I do have easier videos on converting and where I break things down a little bit more. So feel free to reference those. But essentially when you're moving from milligrams to grams, you move the decimal three places to the left, or uh, you're also either, you're dividing by a thousand. So however, it makes more sense to you. But essentially you, you got the answer in milligrams, so you have to convert it to grams. So it's one point five grams per day. It's the same thing as dividing 1,500 by 1,000, whatever makes more sense to you and makes your life easier. When you are dividing, if you have zeros, the same amount of zeros at the top as at the bottom, you can cross those out. So you can essentially just divide 15 by 10. You can cross out the zero zero at the top or the numerator, and you can cross out the zero zero at the bottom or the denominator. So once again, for this first part, the answer is 1.5 grams. And now we will move on to the second part of the question. So here it is again. The second part of the question is how many milliliters of Fortaz would you give per dose? So we're adding two milliliters of the diluent. I think that's, that's such a funny word for me, diluent. So we're adding two milliliters of the diluent, which will equal 2.6 milliliters of the drug solution. So in the problem, the remember the label brings one gram the one gram will be tied to the 2.6 milliliters. How many milliliters of Fortaz per dose? I circled dose because that is a key word there. So whenever you're setting up a dosage calc problem with dimensional analysis, whatever you're looking for, you're going to put before the equal sign. We're looking for milliliters. So and then whatever you're going to set the unit of measurement for what you're looking for at the top of the equation, like after the equal sign. So the numerator is 2.6 milliliters because remember the label said, or the instruction said, we add uh, two milliliters for a total of 2.6 milliliters of diluent. Um, we have, we have to transition grams to milligrams, all you have to do 
when you're moving from grams to milligrams is you're either going to multiply by a thousand or also just move the decimal place three places to the right. Again, I have a more broken down video on why this is happening if you don't understand it conceptually. Uh, but anyways, so what you're doing is you are multiplying across in fractions, if unit of measurements are across from each other, you can cancel them. We have to cancel milligrams because we need to be end up with milliliters. So we're canceling out milligrams. You multiply across and you're going to get 1,300 divided by 1,000. You can cancel out those two zeros. You are dividing 13 by 10 and the answer is going to be 1.3 milliliters. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share, follow. It helps me out tremendously. These videos do take a lot of work. Thanks. Bye.